let's look at the example of the improper integrals type 2, where the point on the interval of integration make the function not continuous. For part A, the integral from 0 to 4 of the function f of x with respect to x, where f of x is 1 over square root of 4 minus x, which is not continuous at x equals 4, which is the upper limit. As we draw the real number line to represent the interval of integration from 0 to 4, including 0, but not including 4. So then we're going to introduce the notation B as B approaches 4 from the left side as the upper limit. Improper integral becomes the limit of the definite integral from 0 to B. B approaches 4 from the left of 1 over square root of 4 minus x with respect to x. We are going to use the u sub technique. Let u be 4 minus x. du or the differential u is negative dx or negative du equals dx. And then find the antiderivative of 1 over square root of 4 minus x. Replace with the u and du to have the integral of 1 over square root of u multiplied by negative du or negative integral u to the negative 1 half with respect to u. The antiderivative is negative 2 times u to the 1 half or negative 2 times square root of 4 minus x. And then bring it back to the main area of this problem. So limit as b approaches 4 negative the integrand or the antiderivative now becomes negative 2 multiplied by square root of 4 minus x. Lower limit 0, upper limit b. Factor the negative 2 for the coefficient out. So the negative 2 multiplied by the li limit as b approaches 4 negative. Evaluate from b, which is square root of 4 minus b minus substitute by the lower limit 0, which is square root of 4 minus 0. Square root of 4 minus 0 is square root of 4 or 2. Square root of 4 minus b, as b approaches 4 negative, this value approaches 0. Therefore, this improper integral approaching the value negative 2 multiplied by negative 2 or positive 4. We can say the limit does exist or the improper integral converges. This example, we have the integral from zero to pi over two of x over sine of x squared with respect to x. The f of x is x over side of x squared, and we can see that this function is not continuous at x equals zero, which is the lower limit. If we draw the real number line for the interval of integration from zero to pi over two, at zero, the function is not continuous. So we're gonna introduce the point A as A approaches zero positive. This improper integral can be treated by finding the limit of the definite integral from point A to pi over 2 as A approaches 0 positive of the function x over psi of x squared with respect to x. Next, we're going to use the u sub technique by letting u be x squared. So du is 2x dx or one half du is x dx. Then the antiderivative of x over psi of x squared with respect to x is one half the integral of one over psi u with respect to u. And psi u, one over psi u is the cosecant of the u. The antiderivative of the cosecant is negative Natural log, absolute value of the cosecant of the u plus the cotangent of the u. 
and u is x squared. So this improper integral is the limit as a approaches zero positive of negative one half natural log absolute value cosecant of the x squared plus the cotangent of the x squared from a to pi over two. Take negative one half out and find the limit as a approaches zero positive from using the upper limit negative uh, natural log of absolute value the cosecant of pi over two squared plus the cotangent of pi over two squared subtracted by the natural log the absolute value the cosecant of a squared plus the cotangent of the a squared the cosecant pi over two squared and cotangent pi over two squared. These two are real numbers. For the natural log of the cosecant a squared plus cotangent a squared, as a approaches zero positive, a approaches zero positive, the cosecant approaching infinity, similar to the cotangent approaching infinity. Therefore, the limit approaching negative infinity. With the negative one half out front, the result of this is positive infinity, which is doesn't exist. Or the limit is not finite or the real number. We can say the improper integral diverges. This example, we have the integral from zero to two of the function one over the cube root of x minus one, which is one over the cube root of x minus one is not continuous at x equals one. As we draw the real number line of the interval of integration from zero to two, one is between zero and one and two. So that tells us we're going to break it into two integrations, which is the integration from zero to one and the integration from one to two. And next, Use the point B on the left side of the A of the one and take the limit as B approaching one from the left. For the second interval, use the point A and take the limit as A approaches one from the right. For the antiderivative of one over the cube root of x minus one with respect to x, we're gonna use the u sub technique. Let u be x minus one. So the du equals dx and one over the cube root is the same as the power negative one over three of the u with respect to u. Antiderivative is due to the power two over three multiplied by three over two, or three over two multiplied by x minus one to the power two over three. The first limit as limit of the b approaches one negative of three over two, x minus one to the power two thirds, evaluate from the lower limit zero to the upper limit b, plus the second part, which is the limit as a approaches one positive of three over two, x minus one to the power two thirds, evaluate from a to two. 
both of them has a common factor three over two, gonna factor it outside. And then for the first group, we're gonna find the limit of B as B approaches one negative of B minus one to the power two thirds minus zero minus one to the power two thirds plus the limit as A approaches one positive of two minus one to the power two thirds minus A minus one to the power two thirds. For B minus one to the power two thirds approaches zero. For zero minus one to the power two thirds, this approaches one. Two minus one to the power two thirds approaches one. A minus one to the power two thirds, as A approaches one positive, this term approaches zero. That means we have three over two multiplied by zero minus one. And then plus one. So the result is zero, which is one of the finite number or one of the real number. Therefore, we say the improper integral converges 